the time has come to put two incredible machines up against each other on and over the track. Hold on to your hats, it's car versus plane. So far, air race champion Nigel Lamb had shown me what his stupidly quick MX2 aircraft could do. Then I showed Nigel what our Lamborghini Aventador was made of. <laughs> and he showed me by donutting the car first time out. <laughs> then getting within one mile an hour of my top speed on the straight. I think I saw 187. <laughs> but which machine will win? The plane is faster. But the car can turn tighter. So we designed a course which we hoped would give both an even chance. The race would begin at the midpoint of the runway with a 100 mile an hour rolling start. Then pilot and driver floor it. Once past these marker points, we could commence our turns. Then it's back down the full length of the runway to a second turning point. And finally, it's back to the finish line in the middle. November 263, Mike X-ray is ready. Take off at the 26, hard at your discretion. As it would be difficult for me to keep track of the aircraft's progress, Vicky had agreed to act as my spotter. Which was not a problem Nigel would face, who was now warming up with some high G turns. So that we could coordinate our rolling start, I had contact with the control tower. We're ready, we are ready. Who could then talk to Nigel? Nigel, Fonte, that's everybody in position. Yeah, right, I'll be ready to start in about 30 seconds. Roger, roger. OK, copy, running in. Running in, running in. Running in. First gear. Let's go, let's start this race. He's just on our rear wing. 100 miles an hour, 6,000 reds, fourth gear. And here he comes. Oh my God, he's right by us. This is insane. Wow. As the start line approached, we both got ready to hit it. OK. Nigel's MX2 shot forward, but so did the Lambo. He's not getting away from us! Oh, he's he's away from us. Before we knew it, we'd reached the first turn. Please break. Up we go. He's gone vertically up, he's turning. Flip around. And let's see what happens when they come over the top. Go on, Nudo! Where's he gone now? Where's he gone? He's still completing his turn. Oh, he's ahead. We're ahead now. Yes, we were. But Nigel now had the power of his engine plus gravity on his side. Here he comes. Where? This will be interesting. Oh, he's really close oh. now. We were flat out, but Nigel went past us like we were standing still. We'd covered the one mile straight in what seemed like seconds, and as we made the final turn, it was still neck and neck. Where is he, Vicks? Is he still going up? Is yeah. he coming down He's yet? at the top of his turn. He's coming oh. down now. We're at the top of our turn. <laughs> Go on, Noodle. He's still on the vertical descent. He'll never catch us now. But Nigel was bearing down on us like an Exocet missile. Oh. He's on the horizontal, he's on his way. Oh, oh he's so quick. Come on, come on. Oh. No. 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 Did we just get beaten by a plane? <laughs> yes. But remember, Nigel Lamb is the best racing pilot in the world. He was clearly ecstatic.
We have had a fistful of challenges on fifth gear, but this has to be one of the very, very best. The start for me was really special because we were at 100 miles an hour and the plane was right alongside us at 100 miles an hour. It was like I could reach out over Tiff's head and touch the wing of the plane. It was really fantastic. I don't get to see that every day. If you're finished, I'll cross over this tower now. Roger that, morning, Cheers. I thought this would be an easy win, but he still got there first by that much. Eggshell smooth on that throttle. Once you're holding a bit of a power slide, you come off too quickly and the car will snap back the other way. This is mental fun. 